You can now play Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 directly on the Steam Deck, but you might want to hold off for now as it's not the easiest and it certainly doesn't look or play the best at the moment. But if you want to try it, you now can. You will still get a lot of black loading screens though, and it does take quite a while to start up, up to 5 minutes to do the activating packages, and you won't get the intro movie in a lot of the instances, but it does load. However, you do still need to make a few tweaks to make that happen. Under the properties for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, you need to go to properties and compatibility and set this to Proton Experimental. If this doesn't load, then you will need one extra step and that's to search for Proton EX or Proton Experimental if you want to run it fully and then go into the properties of Proton Experimental like you would a game and then scroll down to betas and select the Bleeding Edge latest and untested DVXK, which is usually the third from the top. Once you select this, it will do a little update and then you can use Proton Experimental as normal, but it will be the latest untested version. This will get you into the game. Unfortunately, it is still very hard to run and some textures don't look or play very nicely. And as you saw, a lot of the movies don't quite play right either, but this is being updated daily. This is running on the absolute lowest settings, although I did put up the texture quality to medium, which did require a restart. And there's no real performance difference at the moment between TAA and FSR2. So I did keep it on TAA just for a little bit more smoothness. This is now working via Xbox Cloud Gaming, but it only works via the Edge version for me. For some reason, it keeps locking up on the Chrome version. And I have a full guide to Xbox Cloud Gaming set up on the Steam Deck on the channel, so I'll link that in the description below if you want to try it. It's not completely free from issues though, as you saw there's a little bit of stutter there and you get that occasionally. That wasn't the streaming, that is the game itself. However, it does look absolutely gorgeous when you are in game and this isn't the most vibrant areas, but just look at the quality of the water and the plane in general. Although it is still not the greatest stability, holding 30 frames per second, you see it's dipping fairly regularly under. It is more than playable, and I was able to complete some landing challenges, so it's definitely more stable on Xbox Cloud Gaming right now if you do want to dive in, and at least you don't have to buy it on Steam, as it's included in that Game Pass Ultimate subscription. Let us know in the comments below if you can be diving into this on cloud or local or waiting for more patches. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.